Hello and welcome to the Pentair Workfront Worker Training. The Pentair Worker Training, we're going to go over how to evaluate tasks, post projects for review, and review projects that we've posted. In this process, the project planner will assign tasks to a project, and certain tasks will be attributed to certain workers. When that task is ready, it will be sent over to the worker and will be available in their home dashboard view. And now we will log into Workfront. In order to log into Workfront, we go to the designated URL and then log in via single sign-on or SSO using your Pentair EID and password. Once you've logged in, you'll see your dashboard. This is the initial layout for your view of Workfront. Currently, this setup shows you all the active projects that are in the pipeline. You have the ability to show the projects based on a work list or a calendar view. In the calendar view, you'll be able to see your projects here. You can even import your Outlook calendar here uh, from Microsoft so that you can see when you have meetings and that will populate into your calendar. Under your work list view, you'll be able to view your projects based on all your projects, all your tasks, requests, approvals, as well as sort things by a different categories. In the filter view, you can choose to filter by tasks, requests, approvals, personal, things you're already working on, things that are ready to start, things that are not ready to start, and things that are completed. Currently, we have a few different projects. Today, we're going to be looking at the Test Worker Solar Drive Product Selection Guide. In this process, the worker has three tasks that they must complete. Two of the tasks, you'll notice, are not ready. If we filter out everything and just have our tasks required, we can also filter out things that are not ready so that we only see things that we can work on. Currently, we have one task that is ready to start. If I click on the task, I can look over to my right and it'll say what the task is, and above that, it'll say what the project is. If you hover over either of these, you'll get information about the task assigned by a planner to a task worker, the projected start and finish date. If you hover over the project, you get similar information. You can always click on the project to go view the details and information associated with that project or view the tasks. Currently, the task associated to our worker today that is ready to work on is Create Asset 1. Our worker knows that it's ready for them because all previous tasks have been completed. They're at 100%. And now we are in the creative production part of the project. Once we create the asset, we will then post the project and it will be reviewed and that task, the review task, will be a task for the planner. Then, once the project is approved, there will be a creative handoff where the worker will be responsible for ingesting the assets into the DAM and providing the files to the requester, and if necessary, sending information to our content specialist to send in the printer, and our test worker sending those files to digital. Currently, our task says that we are ready to start. Something that we've learned is that the work on button is something that we should actually avoid. Instead, what we want you to focus on when you get a task is to click under status, and when you're ready to work on it, click in progress. When you've completed that task, then you mark complete. As it stands, we are ready to work on this task, and so we will click in progress. Now that we've marked our status to in progress, I want to show a couple different views for the tool. If we click on our projects, we have the option to view all the tasks that we have going on. We also have the opportunity to review all proofs that are in review. It shows who is the approver and at what point in the process the proof is. 
When we are ready to post the proof, it is important that we click on the Solar Drive Product Selection Guide Project, go to our project details, click on Custom Forms, and review the individuals who need to be listed as reviewers in this project. For the purpose of this training, we are just going to put Test Planner, their names, and their emails, and we'll post them in that task. So currently, the task we're on is to create Asset 1. Now that we're in the project, we can go to the correct, ta correct task, go to Create Asset, and then upload our proof. Alternatively, when we're on the Home dashboard, we can click on this task directly, and upload the proof. Once we get here, we'll put in the individuals who need to be listed as reviewers in this project. For the purpose of this training, we are just going to put test planner. We're going to put them as a reviewer and approver. Again, a reviewer is an individual who can review the document but is not allowed to make a decision on it. And a reviewer and approver is required to make a decision and the project cannot move on without their approval or denial. I encourage you to consider posting a proof deadline for your reviewers to keep the project moving along. Additionally, if you're having issues with your reviewers reviewing your proofs, please contact your project planner or your project manager. Once you've posted the project, that will show that there's a proof in progress. There might be some comments made, and you can easily look at the proof details to see who has not yet reviewed the project. Currently, it looks like the test requester reviewer has seen, opened, and commented on the project. The test planner has only seen it, not opened, commented, or decided, and the content specialist has not opened or commented as well. In order for this project to come back to the owner, the task owner, who is our creative worker, decisions need to be made by these individuals. If you're still waiting on information from them, it's very easy to click both their names, click message, and send them a notification reminding them kindly to review the document. When a document comes back to you and it has been approved, click on the home button and go to your appropriate task and mark that task as complete. Once that task has been marked by complete, you are able to go to the project and will notice that under the tasks, there is now a green marker around the predecessor, which means that step five has been completed and now the review asset has been unlocked and the test planner can review. Once that is completed, the project will come back to the test worker and it will be their job to again, put that task as in progress, send all files to the dam, and then move on to the next task. This concludes our worker training. Thank you.